Ryan Bevington. Noyle. Ryan Jones. Excellent tackle by Ryan! Nathan Sharp. Digger. Scott Williams. Shane Williams. He's going to do it! He's going to go out for the finish! Last game! Last try! Shane Williams. Off in style. He's not going to be the Shane Williams wanted it to be because he would have wanted that to be the winning try. It isn't the winning try, but it is fitting for his career. <laughs> try number 58. He leads the field in Welsh try scoring history. And this is the last one he'll score. Slips a tackle, which is what he's done all his career. Beric Bounds, of all people, misses him. I don't think the Australians will mind that one. The youngster, Alex Cuthbert, 21, says, well done to Shane. Goodbye, Shane Williams, thank you very, very much for everything. Shane says goodbye. At the age of 34, the game is over, and it's goodbye to the Welsh stage for Shane Williams. Well, the scores gave a bit of respectability to the score. But I think any once you take away the emotion of that try and the fact that it happened in the very last kick of the game, Welsh should be disappointed in the way that that, that, that occurred. It's a great moment, obviously, for Shane Williams and his family. But... Beric Bounds just misses him and he's away. Oh, the perfect ending to an international career. Complete with somersault, complete with a little touch of extravagance that has been the hallmark of his career. And you know the difficulty for him now is he's got to come to terms with the fact that he's never going to do this again. He'll never get this crowd, he'll never get this support again. He's had a, he's had a stellar career and even more so having to give that up, knowing he'll never never have that again this could be difficult it could be glorious Sonia and Shane well Shane you had uh, Lee Halfpenny outside you there you weren't gonna pass were you <laughs> I didn't see him to be honest um, <sighs> sorry Lee <laughs> um, no I just saw the line went to the go for it The applause from that crowd says it all. It's been an emotional day for you. I think the crowd wanted to give you a collective hug during those anthems. How tough has it been holding it all together? It's, uh, it's been a tough week. It's been a tough week. Uh, it's been even harder today. I'm sorry we couldn't win, but you know, playing against a, a great Australian side today, and we did, you know, threw everything at them, and to be fair, Australia were the best side. I think your boots said all, they say bye-bye. <laughs> How much has it meant to you to wear this jersey? Uh, it's meant everything. Um, growing up as a child, that's the only thing you want to do when you're playing Wales, and uh, I've been very privileged and lucky to have had the chance. Um, I've had the best time of my life. Career. I'm not going to ask you to pick out a highlight, but is there one memory that will stand out? You know, every time I put this jersey on, it's the best feeling ever, and uh, I'm going to miss it, but it's all been a great uh, journey for me. I've enjoyed every second of it, the ups and the downs, 
And I just want to say thank you to all supporters, and especially everyone here today. It's, uh, it's made a hell of a lot to me. Thank you very much. You've been a brilliant servant for Welsh rugby, and you're going to be missed not in Wales, but worldwide. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well done, Sonia, as well. Not easy in those situations. And uh, Shane Williams says thank you to the crowd, but I think the game of rugby says thank you to him as well for some fantastic. Well, we played. Moments. We played one of the best sides in the world today, and we did give it our all. Um, and I'm very proud of the guys. You were waving your arms for quite a few minutes in midfield with those final phases for Wales. I was cursing Ryan as well at one point, and uh, when it didn't come out, I thought, well, typical of today, really. But, um, you know, I, I was on, an, on the end of a great pass and managed just to get outside Barnes and, and inside Ioni and, uh, you know, no one was going to stop me there. What was the most emotional moment for you out there today? Well, the anthems were hard. I, I, I went to start singing the anthem, I just couldn't get anything out, so I... Um, but it was really difficult seeing Georgie and Carter come on the field. Um, I knew they were coming, so I was kind of expecting it, but I just couldn't do nothing about it, to be honest with you. Just really looking forward now to, to seeing this group of guys working together, and uh, I'm sure you'll see me in the in the Millennium Stadium with a daffodil on my head now, February, March, and uh, you know I'll be supporting these guys 100% because uh, you know you can't take me away from the rugby. I'll still be here. Uh, I wouldn't change the story at all. It's been great from start to finish. You know it'd be, it'd be lovely to finish it off with the Ospreys now, and hopefully still be involved in the rugby side of things uh, for years to come.